Good morning, fourth graders. Today you're going to be getting a lesson on how to capitalize correctly, how to capitalize correctly in the writing classroom. And today is Thursday, October the 1st. Now, this is what you're learning about, your learning objective. I will practice the mince rules to know how to capitalize correctly. Now, we're going to be editing sentences, meaning looking for errors, looking for mistakes, and how to fix them. You have to know the acronym CUPS, C-U-P-S. The C in CUPS stands for words that need to be capitalized. The U stands for usage, the P stands for punctuation, and the S stands for spelling. But we're not going to focus on usage, punctuation, and spelling because today, you're going to learn how to capitalize correctly. So we're going to focus on the C. So we have to look for errors. When we edit, we focus on these four skills. The first skill that we're going to focus on is how to, cap how, um, how to capitalize. So you capitalize the beginning of a sentence. He wrote the bike, the H, and he is capitalized. The pronoun I, did I see you at the park? The I is capitalized when it's standing tall and proud and when it's on its own. Proper nouns, New York City, the N, the Y, and the C are capitalized. Golden Gate Bridge, the G and Golden, the G and Gate, and the B and Bridge. We're going to go over proper nouns in just a bit. Titles of books, articles are capitalized. The T and tells of the fourth grade nothing, the F and fourth, the G in grade, and the N in nothing. The first word of a quote. She asked, why is the sky blue? The W, the first letter in that word, needs to be capitalized. And friendly letter, greeting and closing. So, dear Jan, sincerely, the D in dear and the S in sincerely. When you send me an email, make sure to always have the first letter of your greeting and closing capitalized. And once again, we're focusing on the C. Let's do a quick recap. Remember, before we talk about proper nouns, let's understand what a noun is. And you should know this. This is just a recap. A noun is a person, place, animal, or thing. Now, a common noun is the general name of a person, place, or thing, like man. Mountain, building, dog, state, newspaper, book, monument, and park. Notice how all these common nouns, the first letter in that common noun, in that word, is not capitalized because it's the general name of a person, place, or thing. But a proper noun is the specific name of a person, place, or thing. It's its given name. And proper nouns are always capitalized in a sentence. So let's look. The general name is man. The proper noun, the specific name of that man is Abraham Lincoln. So the A and the L need to be capitalized. Your name is a proper noun. So names of people are proper nouns. Let's look at this next example. The common noun is mountain. The proper noun is Mount Everest, the specific name of that mountain. Building would be the common noun. Proper noun, the proper noun would be White House, the specific name of that building. The common noun would be dog. The proper noun would be spot, the specific name of that animal. The common noun would be state. The proper noun would be Texas. A, we all live in Texas. Um, newspaper would be the common noun. The proper noun would be New York Times or the Waco Tribune Herald. Notice how the N, the Y, and the T are capitalized. Then we have book would be the common noun. The proper noun is Frindle. That's the name of that book. I don't know that book. And then monument would be the common noun. Proper noun would be Washington Monument, the specific name of that monument. The common noun would be park. And the last one would be heritage park. The H and the P are capitalized because that's the specific name of that park. In Waco, we have Cameron Park. So this is the MINT acronym that's going to help you. We're going to be going over the 
Mint's rules on what words to capitalize. And we'll go over some of the other rules in knowing what words to capitalize. There's a lot of them, so I don't expect you to memorize all these rules, but I do expect you to go back and look at this video and look at your notes um, that I'm gonna be posting in Seesaw when you work on anything related on what words to capitalize. Um, you're gonna be learning this all throughout um, fourth grade, in middle school, and in high school. And there's some adults that don't know how to capitalize correctly, so I want you to just do your best and to try so now, when do you capitalize? The acronym MINTS should help you out. The M stands for months and days should always be capitalized. The I, the pronoun I standing alone should always be capitalized. Names, proper nouns, the names of people should always be capitalized. That's what the N stands for, names. The T stands for titles. Title should always be capitalized, and the S in mint stands for sentences. The beginning of a sentence should be always capitalized. So let's take a look at months and days. The M in mints. So the name of months, January, February, March, April, May, all 12 months, the first letter should always be capitalized. Notice how that first letter is always capitalized. The days of the week, all seven days of the week, the first letter should always be capitalized. Notice the red letter in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So your example is, I was born on a Friday in July. I, standing alone, the letter I when it stands alone in a sentence, use an I alone when you are telling about yourself, and that's a pronoun. Your example is, I have three dogs, mom and I love tacos, and the I is capitalized. Names, the first letter in names of people and places, those are called proper nouns. The title that comes before a name like Mr. C, Miss Landon, and Doctor are always capitalized. And the name of special holidays are always capitalized. We have a couple holidays coming up. Your example is, Miss Margaret is going to the Miami Zoo on Memorial Day. Notice how the M and Miss, the M and Margaret, the M and Miami, the Z and Zoo, and the M and Memorial and the D and Day are all capitalized. Then titles, the first and last word of titles of movies, books, and articles. Capitalize the important words in the middle of titles. Now, sometimes it's really hard to know what words in a title you need to capitalize. Notice in this example, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is my favorite book. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the title of the book, but notice how the A and 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 the T and the are not capitalized. So I'm gonna show you this slide to help you know what words to capitalize in a title. So you always capitalize the first word in the title and the last word. The important words that are usually nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and subordinating conjunctions. These examples are not the only words you capitalize. These are just some examples of nouns, some examples of pronouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. You do not capitalize these words. This is super helpful. So never capitalize the words a, an, and the, just like we saw in this example. Those are called article, articles. Um, the letter A, N, and the should always look like this. Do not capitalize. Um, coordinating conjunctions do not need to be capitalized. Once again, the word and, for, and but. Prepositions. Some examples of prepositions are at, by, from, do not need to be capitalized. In short words, three letters or less. Here are your examples. Tales of the Fourth Grade. Nothing is the title of a book, but notice how the O and of and the T and the are not capitalized. Romeo and Juliet. The A and and is not capitalized because you don't capitalize conjunctions. A Wrinkle in Time. The I and N is not capitalized. And the Cat in the Hat. Notice how, once again, N and the are not capitalized. Now, always capitalize the first letter of the first word in a sentence. That's what the S stands for in MITS. 
Now here are some more rules to help you out. So once again, we've gone over how names of people should always be capitalized. Mrs. Richardson, the M and the R are capitalized. John Smith is the name of a person, the J and the S are capitalized. And look at this example, very important, Grandpa Joe. Notice how the G and the J in Grandpa Joe are capitalized. So let's look here. It says, relationship names, when used before a proper noun, need to be capitalized. So if you have an example sentence where it has, my uncle Bill is a fireman, notice how the U and uncle and the B and Bill is capitalized. But when you just have the word aunt with no name following it, and her aunt works at the elementary school, then the A and aunt should not be capitalized. So whenever you see the words grandpa, grandma, uncle, aunt, if they're standing by the, themselves, if there's no name next to it, then that needs, needs to be lowercase. But if, in this example, Grandpa Joe and Uncle Bill, notice how there's a name after the word grandpa, a name after the word uncle, then Bill and uncle, grandpa and Joe, need to be capitalized. But if you just see the word aunt, uncle, grandma, and grandpa, with no name following it, then it needs to be lowercase. We'll go into that later on during the year. I just want to introduce it to you because you're going to have some task cards that are going to have that rule. Then we know that names of streets, cities, and states, and countries need to be capitalized. Examples of this are New York City, Texas, Ohio, New Mexico, United States. So once again, names of streets, cities, states, and countries need to be capitalized. So we're going over all the rules. Days, months, and holidays need to be capitalized. Your examples are Saturday, New Year's Eve is a holiday, and September is a month. Important events in history need to be capitalized. World War II, Battle of the Alamo, Civil War. Specific buildings or places so Smith Elementary, Lake Air Montessori, Target, Taco Bell, Clyde Warren Park are specific building or places, like stores, need to be capitalized. Important words in a title, and we've gone over that. The pronoun I, we've gone over that. And also in the contraction words, I'm and I'll. And then the first word in a quotation, the teacher asks, what is your favorite subject? And notice how the W in what is capitalized. So these are some rules. Then we have school subjects. If it's a language course, a specific course, like French, Latin, history, American history, notice how the F is capitalized, the L is capitalized, the H is, the A is, but not the H in American history, only the first letter. These words, these subjects do not need to be capitalized. So like science, and geography. Notice how they have a little g and a little s. They're lowercase, so you don't capitalize those courses. And then some of you might think that seasons need to be capitalized, but they do not need to be capitalized. So once again, don't capitalize seasons. So winter, spring, summer, and fall all start with a lowercase letter. So once again, seasons are not capitalized. That's a misconception. And that was your how to capitalize lesson. Thanks for um, watching. So now this is your follow-up work after this YouTube lesson. You're going to go to Seesaw. And in the same assignment, in the same activity, you are going to have an explanation video. Make sure to watch it on how to complete this in Seesaw. You're going to be... using this editing mark to place underneath the letters that need to be capitalized. Since we, we really can't um, use the drawing tool to cross it out, that's really kind of hard in Seesaw. So what I did is I
this is what your activity is going to look like in Seesaw. It says, use these editing marks and move and place them underneath the letter that needs to be capitalized. There are 19 errors in this practice page. So there's 19 editing marks to drag. So the three lines underneath is the editing mark that you write underneath a letter that needs to be capitalized. That's a symbol that we are going to use and that everyone uses. So since it's really hard in Seesaw to use like the pencil to cross out the I or put the three lines underneath the I in this first example of it was nice of you to help me, I have made these little editing marks. You're going to drag and there's 19 of them and you're going to use all of them. Then you're going to circle the letter that helped you fix the mistake. So after you move the editing mark, for this one, for number one, it was nice of you to help me. We would move it underneath the letter I because that's the start of a sentence. Then you have to circle, look at the acronym next to the sentence, mince. It says you're going to circle the letter circle the letters that helped you fix the mistake. So then on number one, I would need to get my pencil on in Seesaw, and then I would circle the letter S in Mints because I needed to capitalize the start of the sentence. Then in Seesaw, I'm also going to upload your notes, the rules page, the rules notes, what we went over in the lesson. And then notice how in your activity you have three pages. The first page right here is the activity where you move and drag the editing marks on what letters need to be capitalized in the in this example, 1 through 10. And then page 2 and 3 is going to be the notes page, the rules that I want you to go back and look because I don't expect you to memorize all these rules on what words to capitalize, but I do expect you to use your notes. So the notes are going to be on page 2 and 3 of this activity. And then when you're done, hit the green check mark and make sure that you use all 19 errors, all 19 editing marks. And the editing marks are once again these three lines, one, two, three, which signifies what letters, what letter needs to be capitalized in that word. And then you have to circle the letter next to it that helps you to fix a mistake. So on number one, we would move the little editing mark. underneath the letter I and then we would circle the S right here in the acronym MITS. Thanks for watching.